Hey YouTube, this is Diefly Fish. Just want to show you. I found a very inexpensive little inductor. Um, found this on DigiKey. It is the SRR1240 221 KCTND. It is a 200 um, micro Henry inductor. I need to look to see if I can find a 100. Uh, microhenry inductor, but these are very, very, very tiny, and they work very well. So I just want to show you, this is just the, you know, the basic circuit that I've been showing. The only difference I have, the ability to swap it out, and also to show you, you know, the differential and intensity depending upon where the inductors are placed. So, therefore, what I will do is I have the, hooked up to the carbon magnesium manganese cell that I made that seems to deliver you know more than adequate current at approximately 1.5 volts to run the circuit and here I will try to show you as I move the inductors closer you see the LED goes totally bright. Move it apart, nothing. Together, ta-da! And again, apart, nothing. So these are very, very small inductors, but by golly, they seem to work very, very well. So again, that's just the carbon magnesium that's oxide treated with a manganese zinc oxide and silica gel electrolyte and that is the glowing of the 10 millimeter LED and I have a much larger capacitor here so I'm still trying to dial this into optimal but just want to show you as far as um, from a size and footprint standpoint we can accomplish a lot with something very 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 small and it's much smaller than the 100 Micro Henry chokes I have here. So the search is on for the smallest choke to get this job done. But again, you can see as I move the inductors closer together or move them apart, you can see the differential and the glow. And I'm using right here a larger cap on the tank circuit and we can swap those out very very easily put in a 0.1 microfarad cap we'll see if that changes things to anything dramatically makes it a little bit a little more sensitive perhaps but she goes and then we can put in a larger cap in the tank circuit and see what it does as well. But if nothing else, there are certain ratios here I think that are of um, definitive importance. And again, how close we move these cap or the um, inductors can see the variance in the intensity. But these tiny little inductors seem to work very well, and they're about a buck a piece. So assuredly they're not expensive to uh, acquire. But I thought you all might find this very interesting. And hopefully we can get to the point where we have a very, very, very efficient and inexpensive circuit to run an LED, etc. So, thanks again for watching, and uh, hope everybody's having a very good night.